Welcome back to the MOOC course on Corporate Social Responsibility. My name is Aradhana Malik and I am helping you with this course and we are uh, we were talking about the SDG compass. Now we will wrap up that discussion in this lecture. So we stopped at step 2. Now step 3 of the SDG compass the stages in uh, the, the or the steps in, in the implementation of the SDG compass are step 3 is here I will just show it to you and I am going to keep the, the slides like this so I can switch back and forth between the websites and the slides. Step 3 is setting the goals. How do you set the goals? The, you define the scope of the goals and select key performance indicators. You define a baseline and select the goal type. You set the level of ambition. You announce the commitment to, to the sustainable development goals. Okay. You define your scope of goals and select key performance indicators. How do you do that? You identify your key performance indicators, you define the baseline and select the goal type, you set the level of ambition. Hmm. The goal setting initiatives here are the science based, for example, the science based targets initiative, which I will just show you. There are three that are given here. Hmm. So, science based targets initiative is uh, here. Hmm. So, you can go through this. What is a science based target? Again, there is a video, you can go through this and see for yourself. Okay. And then the future of it benchmarks is there. So, you align there again this is another what is the future of fitness here let us see. Hmm. Okay. A future fit society will protect the possibility that humans and other lives can flourish on earth forever by being environmentally restorative. You restore the environment, you replenish, you restore the environment, you replenish the resources that you have consumed socially just and economically inclusive. Okay. So, here environment we are disrupting and degrading earth's natural process upon which we as a species and all life depend society, business. So, the three pillars are addressed okay. to mobilize business in pursuit of future fitness. We must empower all market actors to recognize and reward the right kinds of action. This starts with the understanding that companies do not exist in a vacuum. Businesses can only thrive if society prospers, which in turn demands that we safeguard the earth's life support systems. Please go through these tools. These are very, very important and very interesting. Okay. Uh, then the third one here is the WBCSD's Action 2020. Here. Hmm. So, it is a platform for action, a platform for businesses to contribute solutions to environmental and social challenges. Okay. So, um, action. Okay. So, it sets the agenda for business action on sustainability to 2020, 2000 and the year 2020 and beyond. Again, you can go through this and see for yourself what this tool does. All right. Then the goal setting approach. When we are trying to define the scope of our goals, we may use one of the two approaches, the inside out approach, which is what we have been doing till now and the outside in approach. Let us see what these are. The inside out approach, which is the current trend is uh, you know uh, goes like this. The business goals are set internally. They are based on historical data, current trends and future projections on the company's performance. What happened in the past? What are we doing now? Where do we want to go in the future? You benchmark against performance and goals of the industry peers. Who is doing the best kind of work? Should we match up to them? Should we set our own goals? Should we go you know should we uh, overshoot what they have done? So, should we perform better than them? So, that is what we are doing now. Huh. So, we set the goals internally, we compare whatever we have done to whatever we wherever we want to go and we, we look at how things are moving on and then we, we, we align ourselves with a benchmark and use the benchmark as a goal that we need to attain and cross. Now, the outside in approach is what the, the SDG compass proposes and that is 
where they say that sustainable uh, develop if we incorporate the sustainable development goals they will help determine the global and societal needs the business goals business goals are then set based on external societal or global needs they are based on science and external data they are benchmarked against the needs of the society that the business can address and there is pressure from the outside to incorporate all of these into the business so we we look at the global and societal needs and the needs of the of the environment the society then force us to set our goals accordingly so there's pressure from outside we don't set our goals internally our goals are set because of the pressures the motivation the 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 push coming from outside they are based on science and external data not from on your internal data they are benchmarked against the needs of the society not your peers you are benchmarking your goals against what the society needs you to do and what you can address as a business that is the outside in approach all right step 4 is the integration you anchor sustainability goals within the business you you have checkpoints you embed sustainability across all functions you integrate it it becomes a part of the way you do things and you engage in partnerships with organizations in your industry and outside of your industry within the same geographical area or maybe even outside across international borders maybe and you know with people who are who are beginning to integrate the sdgs or have already integrated the sdgs into the way they do things just reduce the size a little bit okay how do you anchor sustainability goals within the business you create a shared understanding of how progress towards sustainability goals creates value for the company in particular by clearly communicating the business case and how it can complement progress towards other business goals you will make profit you you will make profit if the society progresses so if the society is progressing then you will definitely make profit if the society is if you are contributing to the welfare of the society you will end up making profit yourself we have discussed that ad nauseum so i'm not going to go into it you integrate the sustainability goals into the performance reviews and remuneration schemes across the organization with additional incentives reflecting the specific role that a function or individual has in achieving relevant goals some industry specific examples are the sdg industry matrix sustainable development goals industry matrix and i will show this to you here okay so you can download it this was designed by kpmg and united nations global compact and you can actually you know it is industry specific so financial services food beverage and consumer goods climate extract etc so the matrix is there and that will help you uh, the you know see what is being done here okay then there is another one here okay so they have provided it here also on the sdg business hub all right embed sustainability across all functions through dedicated sustainability teams through people who take ownership of corporate functions through people who take ownership of their commitment to sustainability Uh, uh you know the management uh, the different departments r&d business development supply management operations and human resources which will help you embed sustainability within their uh, within their specific domains and that you know the your commitment to sustainability should be so high that it reflects in the culture of the organization and its operations and even in your business strategy sustainability should be the only way you do things only then can we survive on this planet otherwise everything will come and go we will keep on using the resources that we have and we will keep dumping our trash into space and eventually we will need another planet to live on if we don't take care of the planet that we live on currently very very important okay um sorry about that yeah then you engage in partnerships value chain partnerships within which companies in the value chain combine complementary skills technologies and resources and bring new solutions to the market 
sector initiatives. So, you have value chain partnerships, you have sector initiatives that bring in several industry leaders together in efforts to raise standards and practices across the entire industry and overcome shared challenges. One of the sector initiatives I have told you on several occasions is the rug mark initiative or the good weave initiative as it is known now. Multi stakeholder partnerships where governments, private sector and civil society organizations join forces to tackle complex challenges. The last step in the SDG compass is reporting and communicating whatever you have done. Effective reporting and this includes two uh, steps, effective reporting in communication and communicating on SDG performance, two aspects to it. Why should you report? Reporting matters project by the uh, World Business Council on Sustainable Development and Radley Eldar is, uh, I will just show you these websites, I am sorry I forgot to pull up the second one, Reporting Matters 2016 and the UN Data Revolution, this is what shows you why you should be reporting here. Reporting matters is the outcome of the fourth review of the WBCSD members sustainability and integrated reports. The publication showcases inspirational examples of good practice that can be shared among members and provides insights into how progressive companies have started communicating on the sustainable development goals and integrating the goals into their respective strategies. Very, very nice. Um, again, um, you know, I wish I could show you this. However, I cannot at this point. So, maybe you can download this and see this on your own. Let us see. Okay. And then of course, we have the UN Data Revolution Group. Um, all right. So, in August 2014, UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon um, asked an uh, independent expert advisory group to make concrete recommendations on bringing about a data revolution in sustainable development. The group has now published the report. Thanks to everyone for their input. So, that is what they say. All right. So, this is about the data revolution and how big data is being used and how whatever data is generated, uh, you know, as a result of the work that we do as a result of the ex their disclosures of different organizations, how is this data? ultimately contributing to the sustainable to the to the uh, uh, integration of the sustainable development goals in uh, uh, the business practices so you know there are this is a, a list of blogs and you can go through this okay so let me see if that file has downloaded yet maybe not okay it's still transferring data so anyway so this is uh, okay. Effective reporting and communication depends on the influence of on stakeholder assessments and decisions, the significance of economic, environmental and social impacts. Who is uh, assessing the organization? How should you write it? What should you write depends on how uh, you know the, the influence on, on, on the decisions of the stakeholders and their assessments of what is written. Then the significance of economic, environmental and social impacts on the organization and its working and that in turn will help you report as effectively as possible. Communicating on SDG performance for each sustainable development goal identified as relevance, companies can disclose why the sustainable development goal has been identified as relevant and how the significant impacts whether positive or negative related to the relevant sustainable development goal, the goals for the relevant sustainable development goal and progress made in achieving them, their strategies and practices to manage impacts related to the sustainable development goals and achieve goals through integration across the business. So, these are the things that you need to put in your disclosures. I think I have bombarded you with a lot of information, you know, through these different lectures. I have shown you report after report. I have given you, you know, uh, uh, different documents. I have shown you different websites. Now, your homework, um, I would expect, I do not think you can label it as homework. 
I think you would be really interested in finding out more about each of these, these uh, uh, organizations that I have talked about and each of these steps that I have discussed. So please feel free to discuss them on the website, on the forum and I will respond uh, as soon as possible. But I hope you have enjoyed this module and this lecture and this wraps up our discussion on sustainability, corporate sustainability and corporate social responsibility. So. Uh, the last module uh, will be on uh, miscellaneous things that we missed out or that couldn't be fitted into any of these modules and the and we'll end with the future of corporate social responsibility in the next module in week 8 and uh, all the best for your uh, quiz so thank you very much for listening